Uh, I think for chronic lymphocytic leukemia patients, the error of these novel therapies has really transformed the disease. And it is an exciting time, albeit you know, nobody wishes to have this type of cancer or any type of cancer or disorder, but they're really, it's, a, it's changed so dramatically. Um, we're improving not only um, the survival of patients with CLL, uh, their quality of life with treatments is improved dramatically with the novel agents compared to the era of chemoimmunotherapy. Um, patient reported outcomes of these therapies have been updated. There's lots of data now going seven years um, with some of the novel agents like abrutinib, and so the patient reported outcomes are much, much better in terms of their quality of life, side effects of therapies. Um, it is really a good time. There's a lot going on, so I just want to give encouragement to patients with chronic lymphocytic leukemia if you need support. Um, there's support available, whether it be talking to other patients with the disease, there are patient forums, um, your doctor. Um, be open about what you're going through. It will help the doctor understand where you're coming from. Um, bring friends or family members to appointments because we don't expect you, particularly the first or second visit, we don't expect you to hear everything we're saying. And so he, more than one session is often good because you just can't get it all down. If you like to read, read. If you're too nervous about seeing all the data because the disease is very heterogeneous and oftentimes some patients get very afraid by reading things online because is that me, is that me, is that me? Bring questions or don't read. If there's too much it's information overload, help your doctor navigate and figure out what type of patient you are so that they could best help you. But there's a lot of exciting stuff going on, a lot of clinical trials going on. Hopefully we can figure out ways to better um, not only um, eradicating the disease, but giving people time off the oral therapy. So in fact, putting people in deep remissions and then hopefully not needing to treat them for years to come. So stay tuned.